and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today we're playing with By Terry. I have a full face of By Terry. And to go along with my 2023 resolutions, I am taking all the things from my current collection. We have new foundation, which is new to me, I've never tried it on the channel, powders, hyaluronic palette, which I've never used, a bunch of different lip products that I didn't even know I had, uh, By Terry blush, liner, runs the gamut. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Everyone. So as I said in my intro, we're doing all by Terry today. Uh, there's a bunch of by Terry that I've never used on the channel. So we're going to do it. First is the foundation. It is the by Terry serum foundation. Uh, one fluid ounces and I have it in what shade do I have it in? I think it's number one vanilla. Yeah, I think that's one vanilla. This serum foundation. Uh, I actually have been trying it for a while. It is, I don't think it works great for me. We're gonna see how it works today. Um, it's just, I don't know what it is about the foundation. I think it looks like a little dry on me, but again, it could be just that it's too light. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the foundation is expensive. It's like a hundred and something dollars. I'll make sure the, the right price is down below, but um, I finally decided to get it before, before the end of the year like around, like right after Thanksgiving or something like that, because there was some kind of sale and I don't remember like how much discount I got, but it was a pretty big discount. So I was like, oh, okay, I've wanted to try it for a while. You know, I'll try it. And then of course, never got around to showing it to you guys um, because there was always these new products as I've talked about. So yeah, I think it's just too drying on my skin, which is weird because it's, um, you know, serum foundation. So I thought, well, okay, but as you can see, like it's already sticking to like different places on my forehead and it's doing the same thing like on my eyes, like it's starting to pill. Can you see it pilling? It's weird, like I don't know. And I don't have anything on underneath that I don't usually have underneath. I have moisturizer, but yeah, it starts to pill. It's really weird. So anyway, um, I don't think I like the foundation. I don't think it works for me. I think I'm gonna try actually to use my fingers because I don't think I've used my fingers before. And just like rub it in, see if that is any better. This brush is the Anissa brush, which works for everything else I own. So, you know, I don't know if that's it, but let's try it. Maybe that's it. Maybe it just needs to be, I don't know. But it's sticking to places on my face. Yeah, it's sticking and it's pilling, which is what it did last time. And now it's in my hair, which is good. But I mean, it'll work for the purposes of today because I need to show you guys <laughs> what this stuff does. But yeah, the foundation, the foundation is, is not, it's not good <laughs> for me. Here's the thing though. I love the, the By Terry Terribly Denseless Foundation. Love that foundation. So this is the Eclat Opulent Foundation. And for me anyway, it's just, I just, I've used it a couple times now and every time I use it, it's just terrible. So um, as uh, I was doing my foundation declutter, I had been trying this and I was like, well, that's going in the declutter. It just doesn't work. I don't know why, but now I have a little like, ugh. it just, it's not gonna work, okay? It's bad. All right, so let's move on. Um, it just doesn't work for me, I don't know why. So let's try the, um, the powders, because I've heard really good things about the various shades. Now, I do have the pressed powder in the original shade, which is like translucent, which doesn't, you know, like it doesn't have um, color to it. This is the Hyaluronic Hydro Power Palette. Uh, so it's got four shades in here. I don't know if they say the names of the shades on here. It doesn't. Um, Mattify, Smooth, and Set, Blur, Enhance, Contour. So I think you could use all of them for all the above. This has like a pinkish shade, so I'm gonna use that to kind of set the under eye um, because this foundation is so terrible that I could use that. Now, I've used By Terry Hyaluronic Powder before. I've used the Loose Powder for years, uh, loved it, and it was actually the only powder that I ever used to use that I like felt comfortable using because all the other ones dried out my skin. 
Uh, I eventually got the hydro powder in the press powder. I think it works really well. So this is the one that I used underneath my eyes. You'll, you'll notice basically nothing. Like you don't see anything, which is the whole point. Um, I think it works really well for that. I really like uh, the by Terry powders. Now I have these powders, which are the terribly, I think they're called terribly densalist. Yes, terribly densalist compacts. Um, they are wrinkle control pressed powders instant flawless finish. You can almost use these for like foundation. I have them in seven and two because I'm going to use them as like a contouring thing. I actually love these, but these don't exist anymore. My understanding, and again, if you guys know something I don't, let me know, but I think these have been discontinued, um, the densalist powders, along with the blush, which I'll get to in a second. So I'm going to use the number seven. Yeah, I thought that would work for me. So I'm going to use it as like a contouring powder, which looks beautiful. Um, I really like the by Terry powders. I think that's probably what she's most known for. Um, you know, the by Terry brand. I mean, I think, you know, the powder is the loose powder is kind of what most people think of. Um, and then her bombed rose, which I use and have on my lips actually at the moment, uh, is my favorite balm before the, uh, meal cordon came along. I've been using it forever. The liquid one, uh, the one in like the little tube is what I, I uh, use all the time. And I like it a little more than the um, one in the pot just because it's easier. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's an amazing contour. That's like just perfect. Again, this is shade seven. If you can find these powders, they have some on her site, I think a few shades. I think maybe Beautylish might have a few. Macy's might have a few. Um, but I haven't really seen them very often. It's very rare that you find them. And they're just a very smooth, very like beautiful powder. Uh, if you have a deeper skin tone, the seven might work for you as just like an all over powder um, or maybe even a, almost like fin like a foundation, like a powder foundation. They, they're that smooth, they're that beautiful. I really, really like these and I don't understand I don't understand why they weren't more popular, but I mean, sometimes like the best products, right? They don't, they don't get all the attention. So, um, and then this is shade two and shade two is super, super light. Um, it's basically the color of my skin, but it has a little teeny bit of warmth to it. It's like the tiniest amount. Um, and what I use this for or have used this for is like a super light contour. So it has some warmth to it. And if I use it like on my nose, it looks like a very natural contour and I'll put some highlighter and stuff to fit, to finish it off. But it's super light because you can't really tell there's a lot of powder there. And because it's so finely milled, it, it actually works really well. And then I take a little bit more on the uh, denser brush, blend it into that seven and it gets this really nice, gorgeous contour without looking too much like contour because it's, just powder blended into the skin. Look how beautiful that is. Like who needs, who needs, what's the new thing that people are doing? Uh, some type of fat removal from their cheeks, which <laughs> you're going to, you're going to regret that when you're older guys. Um, okay. Anyway, won't go there. So yeah, I think it just gives a beautiful contour. I think it looks really, really nice. The shade that you're going to need in the powder depends on your skin tone, obviously, uh, or you can just use the powders and all over powder. Uh, depending on your skin tone. Uh, same is true for these, which we're going to use as, I'm going to use this one as an all over powder when we get there. Okay. So, um, the blush, I love the blushes. They come in the same packaging. Um, and these don't exist anymore. They are, um, same Densilis name and uh, you, you can't find them. Now, some places still have a few of them. This is shade number one. I am gonna make an effort this year to find uh, a whole bunch of By Terry bl Densilis blushes. Now, they came in like this kind, which was just the blush by itself. So one shade like this. And then there was some that are like contour blushes almost, like there's like a lighter shade and a deeper shade. I am going to make it an effort, like a concerted effort to pick up as many of these as I can this year. Like I said, I know that they no longer exist, but I can find them on secondary markets. And then there are some places that still carry a few shades. So I'm going to be 
on the lookout. So if you know good places to get them, let me know. Uh, let's see. So we've got foundation, which I don't like. We have, although it looks much better now that I have the powder over it, which is fascinating. I mean, it still doesn't like, it doesn't look good, but the powder made it look decent. Do you know what I mean? Like now it looks, now it looks better. I mean, it's still not good, but the powder is so good that yeah, really annoyed with the, with the foundation. Okay, uh, so the eye look. I'm gonna do a really simple eye look, and that's because I have used all the terribly palettes, the the by Terry ones. This was the most recent one I used. This is the the holiday one, um, and I love all of the terribly ones. I, I think they're great. This one I think is hard to find. The newest one I think it's on sale in some places, and the terribly Paris I think is available. It's from last year. I think you can still pick it up in certain places. So we're gonna do the simple eye look. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Paris, a little bit of the new one. Again, though, this is gonna be a super easy eye look because the idea today was really to try out things that I haven't used before, and I have used all the terribly eyeshadow palettes. I really think these are great. I will admit one of the things I like most about them are the embossing, which go away pretty much the minute you use them. You know, just being honest. But they are actually very pigmented, beautiful palettes. They're pretty neutral. <laughs> so if you ask me like, do you need them? No, um, they're not, you know, they're not such like an amazing, color story that you don't have in your collection if you have a varied collection like like I do. But the formula is very good and it's actually lasting on your eyes or at least it is on mine. Not irritating, easy to use, easy to blend. The color stories are you know, the kind of things that you can use every day, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, you know, great for work. Kind of thing. I mean, I, I just, I do. I really like them. I think they're beautiful. I like all of them. I like the older ones. I like the new ones. This one has a little bit more varied, but they're all like neutrals. Like they're not, never had one where I've been like, oh, that's just such a unique color story. I've never seen that before. Some of them have shades in it that are like more unique, like a, like a green or a blue that will stand out. But again, you probably have all the shades. It's not so much about that. It's the formula is really good. The packaging is really cute. The embossing I love. And uh, yeah, I think the I, they're just fun. And I, again, I think the formula is really actually very, very good. Um, so it's not that, it's just, you know, it's another neutral palette. <laughs> so I don't wanna be like, oh, it's the best thing ever. And you get it and be like, Jennifer, I have like three of these. You probably do. Um, I have several myself, but I do really like these. And I often travel with them because they're just great for work. They're just, they're great color stories for work. And I find that, uh, you know, these are, these, these tend to be the shades I end up using. Super easy look, like I said, didn't use a lot. Um, used the Paris and the new one. And I'm just deepening up the crease a little bit, very little. But again, great formula, really cute packaging. It's on the eyes, easy to use. This is the Paris, I believe it was last year. This is the holiday one from this year. Both really good. Somebody asked me for a video of like what my, like a regular average day look would be. This is, this is one of them. And I'm gonna have a series of those looks over on Patreon. I'm gonna have a video for um, my uh, fanatic and VIP level uh, Patreon people. Uh, so Basically, it's gonna be like three different looks, what you know, what I actually use on a daily basis, because I'm not using elaborate over-the-top looks on a daily basis. I, I know that's probably shocking to you all, uh, but for my job, it just doesn't make sense. So yeah, this is the reason I just did that super fast and like was like, I'm gonna use these shades is because I've done it a bunch of times. So this is one of those looks. Okay, um, so we've got that down and then I'm gonna take the By Terry, like I said, this is a By Terry liner in brown secret. I wanted to try the bronze, but they sent me the black and I need to call them about that. Pencils are super soft and very pigmented. What I usually do is keep the line like that. It's a little bit thick and not really like super neat and then I take a brush a little bit like the Victoria Beckham pencils not as soft but you get the you get the look I mean it's like a blown out smoky super easy eye to do takes as fast as I just did it 
So it's a minute, super fast. All right, so the lip products. So the only lip product that I've used on the channel before is these are the Hyaluronic Hydro Balms. I love these. I have them in every shade, literally one through six. This is shade one, it's the lightest shade. I brought this one because I think I'm gonna kind of use it as like just an over like gloss. This is basically has like no, sh it's very, very light as you can probably see. They go up in intensity. This is number one, goes all the way through six. But the reason I, I didn't want to really focus on that is because I've used those before on the channel. What I have not used are the other lip products. So this one is called the Hybrid Lipstick. It's um, a click stick and I have it in shade three. And so this reminds me a little bit of the Giorgio Armani shape. Like it's got like that teardrop shape and you push the bottom and the product comes out. And it's really interesting to me because it's a liner lipstick. So we're gonna try that first and I'm gonna try to use it as more on the outside of my lips. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, this is a great product. Very much like the shape like the Armani. Now the thing is, I don't think you can click it down. You can't click it down. So that would be the drawback. But great shade, easy to use. Because of the shape, you can, you know, line your lips with it. And also it's lipstick. So the only thing I don't like about it is that you can't click down. Other than that, really like this. Okay, might get more of those. All right, the other product is the liquid lipstick, but it's Lip, Lip Export Shine. This is in Hot Bear, B-A-R-E. It's like a mauve shade. So let's try it over this and see what happens. Okay, looks nice. See how it dries down. Okay, great color. Love, love both the colors, actually. Three and four. More of a question of how this liquid lipstick is gonna dry down. Because what I don't know is it says Lip, Lip Expert Shine Liquid Lipstick. High radiance gloss, vibrant color impact, hydrating formula. All right, so so far the only thing I really dislike is the foundation, which actually still looks nice, but I think it's because of the powder. Because if you saw it up close, you'd see it's sticking. It's like, the foundation's not good. Okay. It's just not. I don't care what anyone says, the foundation's not good. Let's take the powder. Let's take a look at these four shades really quickly though. And just, I'll show you on my fingers the different shades. All right, those are the four shades. So this is the one I put under my eyes. This is the one that's next to it that's a little like warmer. This is um, this one here. So it's like the deepest in here. It's a little bit more yellow. And then this one is like, like almost peach. Interesting. I think this one will be too like okra, like yellow for me, but this one could work. This one could definitely work as an all over. And then the one under my eyes, I think looks great. Like I, I really, like I said before, I like by Terry hyaluronic, hyaluronic powders. All right, so let's use that one just on that side. And then I'll use the one that has a little bit more of that like peach, not the really yellow one. I think the yellow one is too like okra for me. Yeah, this definitely looks, I think a little brighter and this looks a little yellower. This gives warmth. This gives more brightness, don't you think? Interesting. Okay, let me put on a little bit of mascara and we'll sum up. Honestly, if it wasn't for the foundation, I would be so happy with this look. But the foundation is just, it's, I don't know why, but it just does not work for me. Like, I, I don't get it because it's a serum foundation. It says neutral lifting serum foundation, anti-aging phytoactive ingredients, ultra smoothing matte finish. Maybe it's because of the matte finish. I don't know, but this is going in my declutter. Okay, so here's the thing. The... The Eclat Opulent Foundation is a no. For me, it doesn't work for me. The shade is actually right, but nothing else. Like I just, I don't like it. It just does not work. 
The palette, the Hyaluronic Hydropower palette. Love this, because this is gonna be great for travel. And this is what I use under my eyes. This I like for like brightening. Um, and then this one I think gives like a warmth to my skin, like on this side that I think this side lacks a little bit. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? Let's try it as almost a little bit of bronzer. Now I know it's not a bronzer shade. Um, it's actually very light, but here's the thing. It's actually this one. The thing is my skin is pale. So even if I just take a little bit of warmth, something that has a little bit of golden in it as a powder, it actually does warm up my skin. And you can see like my skin looks a little bit warmer. Nothing like like a real, you know, true bronzer, but it does bronze up my skin. So now the both sides look a little bit warmer. Now this very deep yellowish, I think that shade, I don't know, it's almost like the number two powder that I used on my nose to contour my nose. I, 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 I don't know, let me take a look and see how close it is. It's number two, Fresh Tone Nude. It's similar, but I think the Fresh Tone Nude is cooler. Um, let's try it next to the, the deepest one here. Yeah. So here's the, the Fresh Tone Nude. You can see it's, it's like a more peach, whereas this is more okra. Um, so yeah, I think this one's a little too, too yellow for me, but the rest of them will work really well for travel. The Terribly Densalist line I've always liked by, by Terry. It's, it's been my favorite products. Her, um, eyeshadow palettes, which I use today are the Terribly. The foundation is the Terribly Densalist. Again, love those. I've used it a couple of times in my channel. I don't have a shade that's absolutely perfect for me. Number one is the closest. Uh, but you know, I, I really like the, the brand and that line, the terribly densalist blush. I love, and they discontinued it. The powders are gorgeous. They discontinued it. Uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't know, but anyway, I am going to make an effort to pick up as many of these blushes as I can. Uh, the contour ones and the solid ones, the lip product. I really like this. I think it looks really nice. And I like both the quote liner contour product that has a teardrop shape. I thought that looked really nice on my lips by itself. It has more of like a, a satin matte finish. This shine liquid lip, this is very nice. Uh, it's, it doesn't dry down. It's not like a long lasting lipstick. It's just a glossy lip, which actually feels really nice on. Uh, so I like that. The Hydra Balms I've been using for years and love them and love all of the shades. The By Terry Eyeliner is one of my favorite eyeliners to smoke out. It's super easy, really smooth, really soft. It stays on all day. Um, I wanted to pick up the bronze. I think I'm just going to keep the black, to be honest with you now, and then just buy another bronze. Because I think there's only like four or five shades total. So I'll just keep the black. I like the liner so much and I don't own black. So just keep it and then just order bronze. Um, so I have like more of them because I do like the products. And then the Terribly palettes, the eyeshadow palettes, these are awesome. Formula is really good. The packaging is really cute. Simple, easy eye look to do. And I always get a great look and honestly works really well for me. So yeah, absolutely love everything here except the foundation, which is the most expensive thing. Do not like it. Really don't. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it just does not work for me. So I guess one fail out of that many products is actually not too bad. Uh, so that's it. That's, that's the entire video, but I would love to hear if you have any, uh, by Terry products that you really love that I didn't use. And if you know where to get the blushes, let me know. And I will be on it really, really fast. Cause I'm going to pick them up this year. Since I'm on my low buy, I might as well pick up things that I know I'm going to love. And I love the blushes. And again, they've been discontinued. So some places still have a few of them and I'll pick them up and uh, you know, other secondary markets or possibly because I'm in the U S there could be European markets that have it. I haven't checked with Harrods. That's one place I never checked. Maybe I'll do that. But, um, yeah, I love the blush. Absolutely love it. And, uh, need to get more of it. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.